And now we are going to talk to the College Hucks. We are going to talk to the group that is known to get you moving and also handle things like your junk. Uh, I'm going to welcome in, uh, we have Leon Cassian here. And what we're going to talk a little bit about is how to manage all that stuff. You know, what to do with your belongings and how to get ready for that move, because this is such a big milestone. There we go. Leon. Should be all good. Yeah. How are you doing? Doing awesome. How are you? I'm doing great. I it love has your been glasses. A... I love your glasses. I appreciate that. The uh, uh, I need as much like kind of like facial ornaments as you can get going. I don't have hair. I just gotta. I gotta keep. I, I gotta keep what I can uh, happening yeah. up here. Yeah, gotta keep working on it for sure. So good to see you, and thanks again for being our trusted expert, helping so many of our clients get from where they where they are now to where they need to be. We're really talking to a group tonight that uh, we want to make sure gets great care because this is an uncommon milestone. Most people move into the real estate market. They buy their first home. They upgrade. They upgrade. They upgrade. And then they live in a house for a long period of time. They accumulate a lot of things. And now they're coming to the market. So we often start to talk with some people that we talked to earlier, like Sharon's going to come by and talk to people about how to manage some of those things, getting into their show experience. And that's where this all starts. So to uh, kind of introduce college hunks, hauling, junk, and moving, we know you as being uncommon because you help people move, you haul away junk, and you do donations. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, when we first started this some time ago, I should probably address the, uh, uh, the most frequently asked questions, and that is, uh, are they really hunks? Um, <laughs> What's well, the litmus test think, for that? <laughs> we think they are. Um, hunks actually stands for honest, uniformed, nice, knowledgeable service. So it is an acronym. But we have a lot of fun with it, obviously. And of course, uh, every one of our employees, their moms think they're, they're hunks. So yeah, everything <laughs> So we have a lot of fun with that. Um, but when we started out back when um, the first thing I did or that we did is how are we going to differentiate ourselves? So the first thing I looked into was partnering with, um, with Goodwill and then Habitat for Humanity. And I was quite surprised that nobody had approached them. Um, so we did that. And within, uh, uh, it's literally weeks, especially with Goodwill, they, they fast-tracked us right onto their website. Uh, they understood exactly what we are doing and what we we're trying to accomplish with the recycling and donating. Um, because it was always the mission to, to not sell anything. It was to give everything we get back uh, for Goodwill, for example. Obviously, we are helping Albertans with disabilities find meaningful employment. And with Habitat for Humanity, we are helping people build safe, affordable housing. So rather than find an avenue where we're trying to make some profit off this furniture or whatever it is we may collect, we went the road of how can we give back and help out right off the bat. So, for example, with, with Habitat for Humanity, I believe last year uh, we were just over $40,000 uh, worth, worth of goods donated to Habitat for Humanity. Uh, and again, helping all these people out uh, with, with affordable housing. And we were fortunate enough to win the uh, AFP Philanthropy Award last year for our donation efforts, which was a big surprise. Um, so obviously our efforts are going, not going unnoticed. So very good, feel good moment. And, uh, and with Goodwill as well, um, you know, we just with clothing and anything else that they need, uh, it goes directly to them, them as well. So one of our, one of our big points too is, is the recycling initiatives that we have. Um, we are approaching 90% of all items collected being deferred from the landfill. And with that, two years ago, we won the Alberta Emerald Foundation Award here in Alberta for our recycling efforts. Um, because again, we don't have to do what we do, but we are going above and beyond and going that extra mile. Uh, so when you, when you hire us, everything that we collect goes somewhere else 
to help somebody else and, and you know that it's being deferred from the landfill, it's being recycled into other products, so on and so forth. That's fantastic. And we really appreciate that you outlined that because that's something that's not a clear plan with everybody that you could move with. Now, when we're talking to a downsizing group that's thinking about approaching the market, they have a lot of valuables that they're uncertain about. There are some things that, just like you mentioned, they may no longer be meaningful to them, but they know they'll be meaningful to someone. So you guys right. take care of that. Um, what is it? What is your advice when you're talking to somebody going through this transition about managing all of these things? Do you suggest doing it in layers? Um, how would somebody make sure that this part goes smoothly? Yeah, it's quite funny. We kind of have a, a little saying we leave with them. Um, we do offer a free estimate. So when the estimator comes out and you need advice, he will, he will let you know exactly what you should do. And we don't charge for that. There's consultants out there that will charge you for them to come out and tell you what to do. We have no problems doing that for you. Um, but we have a little saying, it's, it's, you have that pile of boxes you haven't looked at for years and years. Why don't you just crack open one, see what's in there and see if you can get that done and get it aside and then continue on from there you know maybe start with another one um but we fully understand and you said it best a little bit earlier you spend 20 years 30 years accumulating everything it's not going to be gone in five minutes you're not going to go through it in a couple of hours it takes time there's nostalgia there's emotion um we have found with with uh, especially with elderly people, let's just pick an age, we'll say 80 years old, and all of a sudden they've got to get rid of their things. They need to downsize, it's overwhelming. Their two, three bedroom home, all of a sudden they've got to go down to maybe a one or two bedroom apartment. Um, they've accumulated all these things over all these years and in many cases have worked very, very hard to get these items and things. And the biggest thing we try to train or we, we tell our crews is that you have to remember um, they're 80 and they're looking in the mirror and all of a sudden their stuff is being taken away and they're wondering what just happened. Life just went by so fast. All of a sudden they're 80, what happened and my things are getting taken away. It's very, very stressful and emotional for them. Um, and we understand that. So when we go out there, you know, we preach patience, um, understanding. Another little thing we like to say with our crews is treat every item like a PS5 or an Xbox One. Uh, it means something to them. It might not to you, but let's pretend that it does. So I like really, it. If, you, if you start with one box, you'd be quite surprised how that can steamroll for you. That's really great. I like how you're giving them a beginning. And if I'm hearing you correctly, you're saying, you know what, why not start with some of the stuff that you, uh, that you don't use instead of taking a look at the stuff that you're using right now, why don't you go into that back part of your call space, yeah. take a box that's been sealed for a while and see right. how that one goes. Because right. what we would like to see is maybe that you'd manage those things that aren't going to be important to you in the next 90 days. Yeah. And as you're managing those things, eventually you'll get down to what we call camping mode. Yes. And what we're hoping is, is that maybe you pack your treasures first. Yes. Like the things that are the most meaningful for you. Well, as we're converting from your home to show home, that's a good place to start for this transition. So we see it very similar to how you see it. Now, when it comes down to some of the things that like, as people are packing and things like that, is there anything that they should generally keep in mind? Yeah. So, you know, once you get started, um, it's very important that you, you differentiate what, you know, what can and cannot go. Let's be honest. Um, everything's not going to fit usually into your new space. So you've got to make those decisions uh, of what can and cannot go. Um, you said it best uh, just a couple minutes ago about differentiating what's important and what isn't. Um, there's so, you know, when you, there's so many rules or things out there. Well, if you haven't looked at it in two years, you should throw it out or there's this or there's that. Um, but I agree with what you said. You know, you got to take a look at it and start just making some sort of separation um, and seeing, you know, do I really, really need this? Is it important? And uh, I think if you, if you just get started and possibly think about maybe selling something that is valuable, 
um, that may work for you as well. We, we do have referrals if our estimator goes out and says, you know, they actually have a few things here that are worth something and they need some help with it. We've got great referrals for that too. And uh, we always tell them, you know, we'll have an expert come in and just see if they can do a little something for you. Um, ultimately donation or whatever is up to them, but if there's some value there, they may want to consider selling it. Uh, we've seen some beautiful stories come out of situations like this as well. Uh, we've seen some very large donations to charities come out of uh, real estate sales uh, yeah. over time, and uh, it's always been very special. Uh, so I appreciate that. And if I'm hearing you correctly, then really you guys start by making relationships. You show up, you give a walkthrough for the house. Yeah. If they end up moving with you or need, needing your services, great. Uh, if they don't, let's provide some referrals and uh, anything that you need going on. And then you kind of move forward uh, as they're getting up to the move, um, we're just starting about making this bigger and bigger, you know, slowly like uh, saying, okay, let's start over here and then get this into motion. But we also understand that a lot of people just find that once they get to a certain point, that time is against them, right? Correct. Um, when we're doing this, is there anything that uh, you guys do is maybe hauling away some things into storage or anything else like that? Right. What we always suggest too is uh, when an estimator goes out and takes a look around and things, the first thing uh, that they mention is that now, now's the time to take a look around. You're, you're booking your move. Most people book it about a month and a half. That's about average, maybe around a month. There is the quickie ones, of course, but if they have the time, we always say, take a look around and what don't you need anymore? What are you not using anymore? Because listen, why would you pay us to move something you will never, ever touch again? And then you're going to call someone again and pay again to get all that taken away. Why not cleanse first, get rid of your things, get super streamlined, and then your move will, will be very, very smooth and more cost effective. Well, I really appreciate you mentioning that and how you outline these things. The biggest thing that we want to make sure is that we're always looking at uh, working with people that are invested in delivering the five-star experiences that we're invested in delivering. So I really appreciate that you have that in mind. And I like how you approach this with people. Uh, there's a difference between getting the job done and doing something that you're proud of. So thanks so much for talking us through it and explaining uh, HUNKS is an acronym. Uh, I got to tell you that uh, I probably wouldn't qualify even uh, even under your wide uh, definition, but you know what? I got a job, so uh, I'm good for now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, and uh, we appreciate you, Leon. So this is Leon Great. Cassian from College Hunks, hauling and moving. And you can find them on our trusted expert list. You can go to hackandco.ca slash blog and find all of our um, great advice as well as uh, sometimes tips from some of our trusted experts uh, like Leon. So thank you so much for coming by for our virtual event. Awesome. Thanks, Taylor. We'll see you again. You betcha. Take care. Have a great night. Bye-bye.